they probably should have saved Bad Boys for Life for the next movie. If the next movie happens, I guess it depends on how this movie does. But, you know, you get it. It should be Bad Boys for Life, the fourth one, not the... All right, anyways. Bad Boys for Life. I was hyped about this shit. I absolutely love the first two Bad Boy movies. I've said this in my other videos. The first Bad Boys movie was a big deal. I was in high school when that came out. And at the time, Martin and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air were the two hottest shows on TV. And to have two uh, black headliners like that, you know what I'm saying, the same movie, that was large back then. So, got a lot of love for that first movie. Second movie took it up a level with the action and everything and the production value. And then this one hits. And I'm like, all right. Going into this, I said, you know what? I don't care. I, I'm not expecting a great film. I'm not expecting some, you know, I'm expecting a, just a, a good popcorn action movie starring two aging actors that I grew up with working together again, having fun, almost on the level of Lethal Weapon 4. I like Lethal Weapon 4, all right? 1 and 2 were always the best, but I like 4 because I get to see Danny Glover and Mel Gibson together again. Walking into this movie, that's what I was thinking. And this movie surprised me by how good it was. I enjoyed it. I'm going to have to go and see what other people had to say about it. But just on my end, when I'm watching it with the crowd, we had a great time. We're laughing and a couple of times shocked. There's some shocking moments in this movie. You're going to be like, whoa, shit. Okay, I did not see that coming. And, of course, people was talking shit about how Michael Bay is not directing this. Look, Michael Bay is not Spielberg, okay? It, yeah, he did the first two Bad Boys movies, and they, they were real, they were great. I right? loved them. But I think if you can get a good action director, they can make a good Bad Boys movie, and that's what these two guys did. I, I don't know the name of these guys. They're from Belgium. That's all I know. <laughs> and uh, they, did, they did a great job with this film. And, yeah, there's some Michael Bay-isms in there, but these guys did their own thing and made a solid fucking action movie. And there were times when I'm watching this, I'm like, okay, this ought to be like a summertime film. You know what I mean? That this ought to be a movie that should have came out in the summer because it was so much fun. Two hours long, I did not feel the runtime. Uh, I actually, I didn't want this movie to end. Straight up, I did not want this movie to end. Some movies are like, okay, this is good, but okay, we can wrap this up now. No, I wanted this movie to keep going and going. It was some great action sequences, a lot of heart also. Martin and Will together, let me tell you. Lately, it's been all about Kevin Hart and The Rock. Uh, the Rock and Jason Statham. Let me tell you something. Martin and Will said, hold my beer. Let me show you how it's done. These two have the illest chemistry. Took, uh, was it, about 17 years away from the last Bad Boys movie. Came back like nothing ever left. You know what I mean? Like, they just... They, they killed it, you know, they, their chemistry is just unparalleled, I love seeing them two together, but you can tell, you know, let's be real, I love Martin Lawrence, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Martin Lawrence, but Will aged a lot better than Martin did, <laughs> alright, Martin's a little older now, he's a little, he's a little fatter, but he's still Martin, he's still funny as shit, as a matter of fact, he gave me, like, he made me do my ugly laugh in the theater, okay, he gave me the biggest laugh that I had in the whole movie, so Martin still has it, but now, as far as the action movie stuff goes, yeah, they left a lot of that to Will. You know, Will, th this, this, because, th all right, the first two Bad Boy movies, they had, they had equal share of the action movie shit, okay? They had their both moments to shine doing the action stuff, but this time, it was mostly Will doing it, because Will physically can still do this shit. Martin was almost like, I'm going to say comic relief, which is good, and he's the aging partner, he's a grandfather now, and he just doesn't do that stuff like he used to. But it's okay. It's cool. It still works. And when Martin has to, he does kick ass. Okay, so, uh, look, I enjoyed this shit, y'all. I enjoyed the shit out of this. Do not go into this expecting a smart, clever film about, you know, whatever. Just go into this expecting good action, good laughs, a fun fucking time. Don't worry about the other stuff. Don't worry about, look, just go to have a good fucking time and watch Will and Martin do their thing and just enjoy it, all right? So on that note, I'm going to give Bad Boys for Life an A. This delivered exactly what I wanted, all right? If I want to go see a character study, I'll watch The Joker. If I want to see, you know, a, a good, a good uh, suspenseful thriller, I don't know why this movie came to, came to mind, ready or not. I just saw that recently. That movie kicked ass, too. But if you just want a good action movie, Bad Boys for Life. All right, big ups to Martin, big ups to Will. Y'all still got it. If they do a Bad Boys 4, I will watch it. 
But if they do do a Bad Boys 4, what are they going to call that shit? Like, they already called this one Bad Boys for Life. So, I guess Bad Boys for Life again? I don't know. Um, one, one little, okay, one little gripe. Uh, one little gripe is, I guess, the villain. But then again, Bad Boys are not known for their villains. If you look at both Bad Boys movies, they're not known for their strong villains. There's a twist in this movie where I was like, okay... I, I enjoy this movie so much, I said, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it, but I'm like, do they really have to, to do that twist? But I guess nowadays, every movie needs a twist, so the fuck are you going to do? So anyways, y'all, A is what I got for Bad Boys for Life. Have you seen the movie? What you think about it? Comment freely below. If you like it, did the content, hit that like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell in the corner when I drop new stuff. And hit that thumbs up also. And um, yeah, that's it, y'all. Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.